This video will be showing how to make my family's famous scatcheroos. So for this recipe, you'll need one cup of sugar, one cup of Toll House semi-sweet chocolate chips, as well as one cup of butterscotch chips, four cups of Rice Krispies cereal, as well as a cup of corn syrup or caro syrup, and a cup of peanut butter. The labels really don't matter. I do prefer the Toll House chocolate chips to generic, but the rest of it, it really does not matter if it is generic or not. So moving on the first step, you will take the sugar and dump it into your pot, not on heat. Then you will take the caro syrup or the corn syrup and do the same thing. Uh, just take a little scraper and get all the syrup out of the cup if you can, or you can dump the syrup directly into the pot as well. Then you will turn the stove to a medium high heat. Uh, this is so that the sugar can start to boil. With this, you'll start stirring the sugar together, both the carrot syrup and the actual sugar. Uh, it will start to look like this, but the goal is to get it to look clear and boiling. Once it is boiling, you will see something like this. You boil for a minute, and then you keep stirring as well while it's boiling. Once it is done boiling, you will take it off the heat and turn off the heat. Uh, and this process will be for the peanut butter. So then you will add the peanut butter. And once you've added the peanut butter, you start to stir. Uh, again, not on heat. It will be hot enough already. Once it looks like this, you're ready to add the Rice Krispies. So once you added that, you start to add the Rice Krispies and you kind of stir them in slowly but surely. Uh, it will be kind of hard to stir these at first, but eventually, once they're all in there, it will get a lot more put together. And with the peanut butter, it should look a little bit like this at the end. That's when you know it is complete and finished. The next step is to butter a pan. Uh, once you have the pan all buttered, then you can transfer the Rice Krispie into the pan. From there, you flatten the Rice Krispies down. You can use a spoon like this or you can use your hand in parchment paper. That works just as well. Just remember that the Rice Krispies are a little warm still. For the chocolate topping, you take the chocolate chips and butterscotch chips, combine them and throw them in the microwave for one minute. Um, once you're done with the microwave for a minute, you start stirring. Uh, you keep stirring until you feel that you can't melt anymore. Uh, once you are done stirring with that, you throw it back in the microwave for 30 seconds, kind of watch it. The whole deal is that you do not want to burn the chocolate and keep stirring completely until you see no chocolate chips left. Then from there, you're almost done. You place the chocolate on top of the Rice Krispies that you had and kind of smooth it all out. It is really important to cut these right away when they're still warm. Otherwise, it is almost impossible to cut them. So once you're done cutting and you have all the squares that you would like and desired, you are done and you have made the Rice Krispie Scatcheroos. If you have any questions about how to make them or you know specific steps in this process please comment them below but i hope you enjoy and i hope that you bring these to the next event or family function that you have bye guys